no plan, no confidence in myself, no drive. I was so lazy. Hello, I'm back. I hope everyone is having a great day today. Um, I wanted to make this video for quite some time, but I was kind of scared, I guess. I'm, I'm pretty embarrassed about the situation. Well, I'm not really embarrassed anymore, but I didn't really share this story while I was going through it with people because I didn't want people to know what was going on. But I feel like now that I have turned my life around and, you know, gotten into this nursing program that I can share my story and maybe it'll help someone if not it's pretty interesting to hear either way so looking back I can now see the things that I did incorrectly that led to the situation that I was in so the first thing was I had no plan like as soon as I graduated high school I was 17 and I wanted to sing and dance I was accepted into this program called the Young Americans where they tour and they sing and they dance and I was accepted into that but my mother didn't think that it was a good idea and I was under 18 so I needed parental consent so I couldn't do that so I applied to college very late I luckily got into LSU but I still didn't have a plan like I didn't know what I wanted to do in college I was just there like there I was just there so I had no plan so I got there and I was like okay well maybe I'll like this so my first semester I did very well um, but then as time went on I started to just not do well I another thing that I did that caused me to fail was I didn't have confidence in myself. I was struggling with identity. I was struggling with identity. I was struggling with like my self worth and confidence. Like there were times where I wouldn't even go to class because I didn't feel like I looked nice enough to go to class, which was stupid. And that was another thing. I had no confidence, no self-worth, no self-identity. I wasn't aware of who I was and what I wanted to be. And that caused me to fail. So as time went on, I was failing classes. I wasn't going to class. At this point, third semester in, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. I had um, ideas from wanting to be an interior decorator to a pediatrician so yeah I was lost another thing I had no drive no drive whatsoever you know like no ambition I didn't want to be there I wanted to be a dancer I didn't want to be in college and you could tell you could tell I didn't go to class I didn't care about class I didn't care about anything I mean, I mingled with friends and hung out with them, but I never went to class. Well, I went to class, but I wasn't handling, you know, I wasn't staying on top of it. So, I hit rock bottom. Like, I had no drive, no ambition. There were days where I knew I had a test in class, and I didn't go to class. I didn't go take the test, which is it just is very... Think, looking back, it's like, who are you and what were you doing? But, yeah. And my mom is a single mom, and I was the first one to go to college, even though I didn't want to go to college. And she had a lot of input. When I said I wanted to be an interior designer, she was like, no, they don't make any money. Interior design, blah, blah, blah. But oh, when I said I wanted to be a pediatrician, she would say, oh, yeah, that's good. So I kind of had too much of other people's opinion of what I should be doing in my head versus finding out who I was and what I wanted to do. So I didn't have a plan, I didn't have any confidence or self identity, and I didn't have any drive or ambition to succeed. My GPA got really low and I received a letter saying that I had to sit out a semester because my GPA was really low. So that was devastating and, and I don't know why it was devastating because I knew that what I did 
wasn't gonna, you know, keep me in school. So um, I applied to another college that was in the area and luckily I got in. And the next thing that caused me to fail was not learning from my mistakes. So after I pretty much got kicked out of one school and I got into another school, I did the exact same thing over. I had no plan. I didn't know. I wanted to be a pediatrician in my head, but my actions, like I didn't meet with an advisor to see what courses to take. I I just wasn't, I wasn't there. So I had no plan at this new school. I had a little bit more confidence, but it was in the wrong area. My confidence was in trying to please people and trying to hang out with the, with the cool people, which sounds stupid, but yeah. And then trying to you know, look good, go to class, and yeah, no plan, no confidence, no drive. I was so lazy, and I was falling into the same bad habits as I was before, and I knew it, like a part of me knew and was like, you need to get it together or you're going to mess up this opportunity too. But another part of me was just like, this isn't what I want to do. This isn't what I want to do. So within the time of these two schools, I auditioned for dance teams. I auditioned for dance gigs, but I didn't get them. And it wasn't, and looking back now, I was so upset because it wasn't that I wasn't talented enough or didn't have the look. It was, I, mentally, I wasn't ready. And I thank God that I didn't get those opportunities because I, I know that I would have ruined them. And so when I auditioned for teams, it came down to, I would make it through the first round, make it through the second round, make it through the third round. So the last round, every single time, it came to being between me and another person and here I am in the audition thinking okay I got this like it's just me and this person I can just you know I'll dance them I'll perform them like this is what I do but I never would make it like I would never make it the other person would always make it I would be a better dancer than them I would just feel like I deserved it more but looking back I feel like God was telling me like you can't handle this like why would I give you this opportunity and you can't even handle the opportunities that I presented to you already so yeah I didn't learn from my mistakes like God blessed me to get into the school to get into LSU and I ruined it so he blessed me to get into another school and I ruined it too so here I am two universities with two just messed up GPAs like I would pass the classes like theater that I liked theater um, like the easy classes but the main classes like college algebra and stuff like that failed didn't wouldn't even go to class and it's not that I was dumb it's just I wasn't trying so fast forward I was in a long distance relationship with my boyfriend of I believe four years we had been together for four years so I decided that I wanted to be a mother like I wanted to be a mom that's what I wanted to do and that's another thing like I was really all over the place like I wanted to be this one day this the next day this the next day so I decided that I wanted to be a mother so I persuaded him he wanted we both I'm not gonna say I persuaded him because it was a mutual decision so we decided to have a baby and so got pregnant and I moved to where he was he was four hours away so I dropped everything that I had and moved to where he was because it was it would it was better for us to raise a child together so when I had Lola, which is my daughter, my my husband, boyfriend at the time, asked me, what do you want to do? Like, what are you doing? You need to figure out what you want to do. So I didn't want to hear that. Like, we had a big argument, and I cried because I knew he was right. Here I am out of high school for four years, and I haven't accomplished anything. And it took him to to, you know tell me what I didn't want to hear and I cried and cried and cried and there I am in crying in bed looking at Lola and she's this sweet innocent baby and at that point I remember okay you need to get it together seriously so 
that day in bed, I decided that I wanted to become a nurse. That was a turning point for me because then I had a plan. The plan was to become a registered nurse. So now I'm in a whole different location. I had my daughter and my husband is still trying to get his bachelor's degree for engineering and he has about one more year left. So he's almost done. And so I enroll in a community college and I start taking prereqs for nursing. So I took anatomy and physiology, passed it with an A, anatomy and physiology too, microbiology, English, college algebra, all these classes I passed with an A. And and when I would take the test and I would get A's, like it felt so good. And then I, I realized how much I love to learn, how much I love going to class. And I'm thinking like, where was this person when I graduated high school, you know? So I was passing classes and people were like how are you getting A's on this test and I was like I don't know but so I passed my classes and so it was the semester before the application process so it was the last semester of my prereqs and so I went to go talk to the advisor so I went to talk to the advisor and she was looking at my my transcripts and my grades and she was like and I'm feeling good about it. I was like, man, I'm making all A's, it's gonna be good. She was like, yeah, I don't think you can apply for the program because your your uh, cumulative GPA is really, really low. Like, when I tell you, like, I wanted to cry because it's like, I worked so hard, I changed. Like, I'm not the same person I was before, but the more I thought about it, like how you expect to not pay the consequences of your actions before, like you expect to just fail all your classes at the old school, but now you want to get your act together, come to this school and make A's and it's going to be okay. So no, she was like, well, I'm not saying to give up your dream of becoming a nurse. I'm just saying that you may have to find other options. So I was really, really devastated, like devastated, but that was that. So... <clears throat> I didn't give up I had another plan so at this time my husband graduated with his bachelor's in mechanical engineering and he was offered a job in Houston Texas so we moved to Houston Texas and here um, I started researching schools and trying to figure out okay like I know that I can do this I just have to find a different route you know um, so I went to a few schools, spoke with some advisors. Some some didn't really feel too good, but I went to the school that I'm at now and I spoke to the advisor and she was like, what happened? She seen my transcript and was like, what happened? And I explained to her what happened. And then, you know, she seen my prereqs and I told her that I wanted to do nursing. And I told her, you know, that I wasn't sure because my cumulative GPA was really low. And this lady said, well, we don't worry about the cumulative GPA. Like, I literally could have cried in her office. So, all they, they do, all they do is take the classes that transfer, not all of, you know. So, anyways, the classes that transferred, I had like 3.7 GPA, so I'm in there. And I just felt so like relieved and thankful and she was like yeah you have A's in anatomy and physiology and microbiology yeah you're, you're probably going to get in finally had a clear plan of what to do going from being so lost not knowing who I was not knowing what I wanted to do not having any confidence in my confidence in myself to becoming this mother who is just like a superwoman. I'm a wife, I'm taking care of my child and I am doing what I have to do to make sure I become a registered nurse. Like it feels so good to work hard and to um, just have, have these little small bits of success that are going to become this big, you know, successful goal that you're trying to accomplish so needless to say I'm in the program and I'm so excited like I really literally came from like a 1.5 GPA to getting getting into nursing school and like 
it feels so good like if like I'm definitely not the same person that I was before and I think that a lot of it had to do with me becoming a mother and I'm not saying that if you're in the place that I was before that you need to become a mother because you no, know, like it life is harder when you and you have to take care of another human but like if I would have just known who I was and not listen to the people around me telling me like what I need to be like there's a little voice inside of you that tells you who you are believe that voice just because and if even if you do fail even if you do make mistakes even if you you have made mistakes in the past it's okay like there is a way to get to reach your goals there is a way nobody could tell me that I can't be an RN like Whatever you want to be, no matter what mistakes you made in, in the past or how deep you are in the hole, like, you can get out of that hole and you can reach your goals. I guarantee it. You, it may, you may not have, you may not go the path that everyone else is going. Create your own path. There is a way. So, thanks for watching this video and please leave comments or questions or whatever. I feel good about this year and I start nursing school in like two weeks so I'm very 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 excited about that and yeah thanks and I hope you guys have a great day